Hi, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the off Good Project. I uh, have a couple things that I'd like to point out and share with you. Um, one, you might notice I'm wearing a white shirt all the time. And I guarantee somebody out there is thinking or saying, look, he wears the same clothes every day. Well, actually, uh, I just got eight of these. Um, somebody wasn't wearing them and, uh, and they were brand new and gave me a pack of eight. So, they're clean shirts every day. Uh, I just want to dispel any dispel any uh, rumors. Um, other thing you'll notice the video quality is lower. The um, camera I was using was tearing up batteries and it's just not. You'll notice my video time has been shorter. Um, I've had between 6 to 10, 15, 20 minute videos max. The camera it was tearing up batteries beyond belief. I can't, I, it's useless to me. I can't do it. And um, You'll notice my views have dropped in about half. Um, some people have complained it causes motion sickness because the camera, probably because it's high definition, amplified motion and shakiness. Um, no matter how hard I tried, I could not get that thing to stop shaking. Um, it was making me sick when I was editing the videos. I couldn't stand it. So, uh, I'm going back to the old camera for now. When I get, uh, probably next month, on payday, I'll be buying a real digital video camera. They're only about 200, so I'm saving up right now for one. So um, hopefully, I'll have a real uh, digital video camera soon. And uh, for now, you just have to put up with my old camera because the battery lasts all day long. This battery lasts a day and a half to two days with 40 minutes uh, videos every day. So sorry, but uh, low quality, but longer videos now at least for the next month. Um, spent a little bit, a few minutes looking around this morning. The um, It's brutally hot again. So I'm not going to be out in the garden. I'm sweating actually in the shade. So I, um, as I'm very good at doing, I started working and then realized, oh, I'm supposed to record what I do. And I started I got my sawzall and I was trimming this tree up. What I plan on doing is I hope to get this um, all cut to size and then uh, run this junk through the mulcher because I can't be having brush piles all over the place every day, all the time. So I, um, I just hope to trim this down and um, get it all over there. But I wanted to show you this Ryobi is so impressive. Actually, a friend of mine went and bought one because he saw me using it. It's so impressive. I need a new blade, but. Um, this thing cuts whatever you throw at it. I'm really impressed. Metal, wood, I don't care. Rips the shreds in seconds. Literally, in five minutes, I stripped out all the uh, branches off this tree. Five minutes or less. This is ready for the mulcher, all of these branches. And so I don't have brush piles all over the place. I think I might as well just do it today. Get it done. It's supposed to rain though this afternoon, so I don't know how much time I have. But uh that's just too much. Now it's going to mulch down to nothing, <laughs> unfortunately. But I think I'm going to pull out the mulching machine. I'm going to work my way through here, trimming all this junk down, and pull out my mulcher and uh, get this stuff put away. Yeah, that 
that one was holding the tree. We need a new blade. but I should be. I love this thing. Oops, that's a load supporting branch. First, grab one of these in my hand. I'm using this a lot out here. this thing. Oh, it's too hot. I'm sweating like mad. here. Um, just for explanation, I know you're going to see smoke right there. I have a uh, metal 50, 55 gallon drum where I burn uh, papers. Um, all my packaging materials and uh, papers and scrap wood fragments is a safer way to burn your stuff rather than burning it all open ground. Um, I don't want any chance of anything getting out of hand. so. That's where I throw all my um, newspapers and envelopes and packing material and cardboard and junk. Just standard wood and paper materials. So, I got my mulcher out. I'm going to line it up over here. Speaking of cardboard and burnables, I used a cardboard box as a back liner. This is part of the reason I never got the mulching started. It takes me time to get an idea. Once I get an idea, I go for it full blast. I couldn't think of what to use to for as a backstop over there, and uh, there it is, cardboard done. So I'm gonna um, mulch up all this junk. There's all these brush piles all over the place. 
get this stuff out of the way now before it rains today and then I can start working through here better. There's just garbage all over the yard now. It's a mess. So, that's the goal right now. Because again, all this has to be done before I start my tiny home. Um, I want to get this all cleared out because in case anything falls, I'd hate to wreck my, my home. And if something hits the camper, it would be horrible, but, you know, no no serious loss of anything. It would just make it more awkward to reuse the materials if I want to. In glass cleanup. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to try to clear out all this brush pile today. Hopefully it'll uh, mulch up nicely. And then um, it, by the fall, it'll be ready for putting on my Back to Eden style garden. I've got my solar charger here, my backpack charger, connected to my cell phone on the porch. Now, it's charging. The only reason I have it on the porch is not because the backpack char solar charger needs to be protected from the elements, but because the cell phone needs to be protected from sun. And it shows charging, 44%. So I'll let that run a while and see what happens. Um, it's pretty much in direct sunlight now. And I just have it stuffed in up in the rafters. And see if I can charge my phone for free today. For a little bit there I was thinking, boy this thing is garbage. I, uh, I'm trying to shove these things in the big hopper, forget it. They hang, they stick, they jam. You can't do it. You cannot put these things in the big hopper. And I was thinking, oh, this is disgusting, this is garbage. So I was using my sawzall and cutting off little pieces bit by bit by bit and trying to force it in, and that's just stupid and dangerous. I finally figured out how to use this machine uh, in the best way. I uh, have that whole big pile over there gone already, and I still got this tree here to clear up. I'll take the camera over here and set you up and show you. This might help somebody who ever buys one of these. I'm going to go grab a branch.
hunting like mad today. It's so hot. As soon as that sun starts shining on this area, I'll have to call it quits for this job for the day. I hope, though, that we get all this, well, most of this cleared up at least before I stop. I don't think I have to yell anymore now. I'm away from there. Uh, you might notice I'm not wearing eye protection because I have a hat and hearing protection. Um, I chose to have the hat and just have my back to the machine and uh, be very careful because I uh, have the bugs biting my head if I don't have the hat. So I had to make a choice. Anyway, I'm going to clean all the rest of this brush up as far as I can now before the sun hits me too bad. I'm dripping as I work. I'm just, I'm just dripping sweat. I don't want to get sick and be done for the day. So I'm going to put down the camera and finish this up. Well, how's that look? Been working for hours. I got all the branches from those two trees down. A good share of this pile down. The sun is hitting me and I'm sweating it's pretty bad, so I'll have to take a break soon. Sadly, though, when I stop, I'll have to stop for the rest of the day until this evening when the sun goes down. doing the worst of it. Well, I was going to finish it before lunch. I had it down to just this little pile of brush. The rest is big stuff that needs to be cut for burning. Uh, but my landlady came out, checked the place out. She hasn't been out here in forever. And uh, so I had to shut the machine down and visit with her for a while and show her around. Um, it's funny, I was just minutes from being done though, but Here's what I got. All that brush, and this is all you have to see for it. This is it. Um, it's about two feet deep in the back, maybe. Foot and a half, about foot and a half deep in the corner. And uh, it's not much. All that mulching, all that brush, and all those leaves, it doesn't even fully cover the bottom all the way across. Well, it's a good machine. Once I figured out how to use it, it's a really good machine. It's doing the job. Still got this pile, that's some bigger stuff, so it's going to be harder work. Um, and there's some odds and ends and brush back in here. Various places in here, different uh, things i got to trim down. Maybe that'll be another day because it's supposed to rain. Right now it's hot and sunny, but we'll see how it goes. I'll probably fire up the chainsaw yet today, though. And clean all this up and get it out of the way. And the front yard will start looking better probably what I'll do after lunch because it's still shady over here 
I'll get it. But uh, it's looking good. I like looking at my flower bed. Now I'm gonna go in and rehydrate because I've been out for hours without drinking, and it's really hot. So lunch time. Got the air conditioner on. It's pulling nice, cool air. It's uh. 91.4 outside and 83 inside. I just came in for lunch and it's just too hot. And I'm a little bit dizzy anyway from the heat. For me, that's that's too much. Uh, so I've got my AC on while I have lunch. Um, actually, I'm going to stand in front of it for a minute here. I'm running purely off battery and solar power. The solar panels are pulling in enough power that the 500 watts from this isn't going to hurt a thing. So, I'm good for now. I have come to one important conclusion about an RV with air conditioning. The RV or a camper are just not insulated enough. I think that's why you see these massive um, 1700 watt beasts on top of a uh, a camper actually the big boys my RV actually has two of them built into the ceiling and the reason I think is because these are not insulated they have to have these big massive air conditioners to cool these things down at all because I've had this running now for about oh, I don't know how long it's been maybe I'll see it on the clock when I uh, go back out but 30 or 40 minutes it's only dropped a couple degrees, but it also dropped a couple degrees outside. Although, the um, humidity is down. It was 75% and now it's down to 59%. And that makes a humongous difference on how it feels in here immediately. Uh, that is a big thing. So my next thing I want to do is make or find a dehumidifier that I can run off the grid here. threatening to rain on me but I got this whole place cleared up so far I've had the chainsaw out and I'm cutting up the uh, small stuff that's in the way I've got those two big trees that were down cut up um, got a lot in there to cut yet a lot I've been um, taking a wheelbarrow as I cut logs I'll take them out to the back and stack them up now that does get airflow and sunlight um, not a lot but some but anyway, it's where it's going to be for now. Um, why did I grab the camera? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm hot and dizzy. And I think the uh, thunderstorm is going to be a welcome break for me today. Because I've really uh, put a lot of work into getting this place cleaned up. Now this is a surprise. I've been watering these regularly and all of a sudden these two in the end are almost dead today although it was uh, brutally hot today it was in the 90s um, I'm gonna real quick water these although it's supposed to rain uh, I'm actually hoping it does right now because it'll help everything uh, I'm gonna real quick get a watering can on these and on the um, wild ones that I transplanted just double check the rest of my garden all these guys are doing well I think the mulch is helping these guys. They're all right. Um, the peppers I put in last night are doing fine. Those two were bent over, and I don't know why. Hopefully they straighten back up. Um, oh, the rest of my chilies. Yeah, it was hot today. Look at them. They're all they're all wilted down badly. It was just too hot. There's nothing I can do um, about the heat. Um, the ground is still moist underneath, so it's not dry, because we've had rain every two, three days. Actually, we've had two, three days of rain and a day of sun. Except for the last uh, three days, it's been mostly sunny, with spots of rain. But, um, it was just hot, really, really hot today. My uh, vines seem alright. Let me jump across here. The vines I put in yesterday are doing alright. Um, all of them except for the one that broke, of course. And these guys here, 
maybe could use some water, but they're alive. So they did better than the uh, strawberries which were in the ground before. Oh, the uh, noceums and gnats and junk and um, biting flies are insane. I don't know if you can see them if I hold the camera up. If you can see this swarming mass around my head. It's just the whole sky is swarming right now with things. It's really crazy this year. Onions are looking good. Um, they're poking up all over the place. I'll show you here. Here's a purple one. Here's a, some green growth coming up. Here's some growth. There's some nice growth coming up. The onions are popping out. That's good. But I do hope it rains because it's going to do this a lot of good. Because it has been a couple days without rain now. And here a couple days without rain for some reason an intense sun. It cooks the plants. Well, I guess my wood cutting is done for now because there's these things attacking me. They got stingers and they're coming after me. Um, I was cutting up these logs here, and I don't know what this is, but look what they're doing with their rear ends stuck into the uh, wood. They're evil little creatures, and uh, when I disturb the wood they're going after, they come after me. And um, they're all through this this piece that I was cutting. Where you focus? They're all through here. There's like hundreds of them on this tree. And uh, over here, I said, okay, forget it. Let them have that that tree for now. And I came over here. I was going to work on this one for a while. And here I've got the same issue. There's these things on it right there. And um, now, of course, they're all hiding. So here's there's some weird thing running across it. I don't know what that is. Never seen such a thing. It's striped. And there's these things with stingers all over. Of course, now I just disturbed them all. They were chasing me. I literally went running away, swatting. I only see the one in this branch now, but they're uh, ugly, creepy things. And then these guys, which are obviously having a very good time right now, I don't know what that is, but they're all over this wood. They almost look like an ant, but they're not. Oops, another one of those flying things just came after me. Uh, well, I have to evacuate the area. There, look at that. It's doing, that's what they do to the wood. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, I can't be cutting this right now because they're attacking me. Well, let me back up ways and give you an overview. Yeah, it looks better here. It looks more open now. So much nicer now. Once I get all this uh, brush and wood pile cleared out, once those bugs are gone, I can finish cutting this stuff and moving it. I'll, uh, have it looking really good here. Once I get all that stuff out, then all these extra rocks come from out around this rock pile and go over there and I make a border. And then uh, I can do my next uh, herb garden flower bed over there. Well, for now I'm going to take another break. I'm really dehydrated today. I'm dizzy. Well, we have, <laughs> funny enough, um, flash flood warnings all over the place and we're supposed to get a soaker right now I am surrounded by thunderstorms on the radar but I'm just getting a little sprinkles um, I quit working earlier because the um, stinging things were attacking me and also it was threatening to rain and uh, we had flash flood warnings thunderstorm warnings and everything and this is what I've got this is it funny thing is right now I actually want the rain for the first time ever because um, the Sun has been so intense it is baking my garden and of course the seeds need moisture in order to germinate and um, if it rains then I don't have to do it by hand which would be good so I'm really hoping it comes but it just looks like it's gonna tease me today and not really do anything so, I mean the ground isn't dry. You can see there's moisture in the ground still where I tilled from that last time. It's still wet, but um, the surface is dry. The very surface is uh, baked by the sun. And also, 
the benefit of the rain is for my chickens. Cool the poor birds off. It was 92 degrees today and they were panting. Actually, um, you should have seen it. You guys would have got a laugh. I don't remember which one, but one of the two big roosters was making a weird, strange noise today. So I chased him around with a um, watering can and hosed him down with my garden watering can. Um, they were too hot. I hope that I don't lose any tonight because it was just way too hot. That was no good at all. No good. I'm really worried about them because uh, after a hot day like this is when you usually lose chickens. Um, little girl up there doesn't look too hot. I hope she's just resting. There's been discussion about the age of my birds and whether they should be laying eggs or not, but these guys, if you guys remember, I got home in um, the first or second week, week of March and then I bought these chickens, all these guys here were one day olds when I bought them. So they, uh, what is it, April, May, they're not even maybe two months old right now. So they're not going to produce eggs until the end of the season. Now this one over here on the other hand, lazy girl, she's a year old and she hasn't done a thing. She laid one egg ever. I don't know what I'm going to do about her. Maybe I should threaten her with the barbecue grill. My little hen, um, she's hiding inside right now. She quit laying not long ago, but uh, that happens with chickens from time to time. But the rest of them, they're not yet old enough to have eggs. So, when they grow up, they will. Now these guys, I was going to eat one of them, but they spared their heads because they're chasing off the hawks. My strawberries, thankfully, perked up. I watered them pretty heavily earlier. Um, the leaves actually are burnt. Um, yeah, chickens are doing what chickens do. Anyway, this is uh, really looking bad. The leaves got burnt today. Just scorched. But I watered them heavily and they perked right up. I don't know if my berry is going to get a chance to fully ripen though. I've got two berries there. One is actually turning black on me. Um, it's awkward transplanting strawberries right as they're bearing fruit. Pretty rough on the plant. But they did come out of it, which is good. There, the rain stopped. That was it. As I was talking to you, that was it. I don't know why somebody on... Um... Boy, they're ripping her to shreds. Poor little thing. Alright, enough. Come on. Hey. Let her go. Poor little girl. Anyway, um, somebody on YouTube is saying that my garden is a failure and looks horrible, but I don't see why, where that idea comes from. These are looking pretty good. Um, I haven't finished planting, but that'll come in time. All my peppers, look at all my peppers. It's going to be nice. Well, I think things are looking alright. Onions are growing. Onions are doing quite well. There's a mess of them coming up now. Now the corn, I've got to plant another two rows of corn. I still haven't done that, so I better do that soon. So that when they do grow, they'll uh, be able to self-pollinate. Well, I just went to get some ice cream because I overheated earlier. I um had to stop working and I got myself a little bit of ice cream and uh, some juice. When I, um, it used to be from my drinking days, I would use um, tomato juice as a hangover cure and I still use it today as a dehydration cure. 
it's got a lot of salts and vitamins and minerals in it and so I'm gonna sit down inside and drink down my juice and have my ice cream and and cool off. Oh speaking of cooling off this is sort of cool make sure I don't zap myself on 9000 volts I have you can't get any more organic than this I have made sun tea today using organic tea bags and filtered rainwater. It doesn't get better than that. Now my I lost my lid to my sun tea jar when I was cleaning out the old camper, getting ready for the move. So I use a um, lid from a pot, but um, it doesn't get better than that. That looks good. That's going in the fridge, and that'll keep me going for a week with tea, with iced tea. Organic, homemade iced tea with filtered rainwater. That is good. I don't know if I ever showed you this, but I picked up a blueberry plant. Oh, there's another worm. Oh, it just reacted to my presence. There's worms on everything. I killed five or six worms today, and there's, they're just everywhere. He's looking at me. Look at that ugly thing. He's looking right at me. He's reacting to my presence. Yeah, I'm going to react to him in a minute. Anyway, I got this blueberry bush back when I got the um, other plants from Tractor Supply earlier on. And I'm upset because with all the millions of blueberries around the area, um, they stripped this whole branch clean of berries from top to bottom. Completely cleared off. Millions of blueberries out here in the wilderness. I'm surrounded by blueberries, but I wanted to get the, uh, the big juicy berries and because blueberries don't self-pollinate they have to cross-pollinate um, I figured it was perfect to put this out here where I'm surrounded by wild tiny blueberries but everything in the forest wants to eat my good ones so I'm going to have to dispose of this monster it's funny how they choose the cultured plants rather than one, than the ones from nature. Everything wants to eat your garden, your plants, rather than nature. They, that's the preferred food, I guess. My electric fence is happily working now on its own battery. I am very fortunate that this thing still works. Um, I was running this off my truck battery pack, the um, solar emergency backup system I had in the bed of the truck and uh, that's a 12 volt system and I happened to be in tractor supply just yesterday browsing around and um, was just wondering what batteries cost for these solar um, electric fence controllers and sorry if I'm a bit jerky the mosquitoes are out in force now um, anyway I found out they're all 6 volt and I thought well that's odd I thought mine was 12 volts and I looked round and round and round, there's no idea on this machine anywhere, anywhere at all about the voltage. So I went over and um, I, sorry I'm showing you the ground again. I went over to the old battery and I decided to have a look at it. Doesn't say anything about voltage anywhere. Nowhere, nothing at all. It's weird, nothing. There was no way of knowing what voltage it was, so I assumed it was 12 volts because everything I have and everything is standard 12 volts. I was wrong. I was examining this thing even further, and I found out that the solar panel maxes out at 12 volts. And I thought, well, that's odd for a solar panel. I was reading the solar panel specifications, and um, normal output voltage is 8 volts max open voltage is 12 volts so um, let me see if I'm double checking that let me see um, I don't want to get zapped yeah 8 volts is the normal output this is designed to run a 6 volt system I am so lucky that I didn't blow up or fry the circuitry um, it's very forgiving I guess because I've been running it for a few weeks now on a 12 volt battery. Well, anyway, now it's got its own 6 volt battery. 
I um, had these guys around for quite a few years now. Something I restored in my Benini. Happens to be that this one is fortunately still charged up nicely. And um, I put it in the system. I'm going to take its mate, I have two of these, and I'm going to take its mate and put it on the Bedini charger and make sure it's topped off as a backup. But uh, there it is, working on its own. I tested, tested it with the uh, fence charger, or fence tester, and um, it's working well. So I can't believe it was working on 12 volts and didn't fry the system all this time. So I'm very, very lucky. Um, sorry, I think it's time to go in. Um, I am really being bitten up badly. Talk to you later.